everybody, welcome back to Crushy Plays. Today I'm going to be showing you three types of ways to grind for candy in Royal High. I'll be showing you a demonstration and a few minute clips of each method. I will be hosting a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure to watch till the end to find out what I will be hosting. Now without further ado, let's get on with the video. In 2020, the most famous method to get candies was the apple bob. There was a glitch or something where you could just, it would continuously apple bob for you. So while your royal high character was apple bobbing, you could be watching a movie, cartoons, reading a book, drawing, etc. They then later patched this in 2021 or 2020 because as you can see I now have to click after I get an apple. This isn't a very good method and it's not very convenient because it's not very fun you just kind of sit around and you don't get that many candies from it you only get 10. Whether as you trick or treat there's a chance of getting 1 to 10 candies per door. I'm not sure how many doors there are, but I know there's more than 10. So if we were to get 10 in, well, I think the average is probably 6 or 7. So if you were to get 6 or 7 from every house, and I know there's like more than 10, that'd be at least 70 candies. And there's probably going to be a higher chance from getting loads more candies from the Autumn Town than the apple bobbing i'm going to set a timer for one minute and i'm going to see how many up how many candies i can get the starting amount is 8649 candies let's see how many candies i can get in a minute my first apple that's 10. Twenty. As you can see, I'm having very bad luck. That's 30. Forty. And that's 50. 50 candies in one minute isn't actually that bad. But I'm pretty sure I could get more from the next two methods. This next method we have is, you guessed it, trick or treating. Wiggly Cliffs is somewhere over there. And it's a very long walk from here. So I think I'm just gonna fly. And hit into several of the things on the way there. How many doors do you think there are in Wiggly Cliffs? Leave your guesses in the comments below. I like to read them. So as you can see, it literally just spews out candy, and it can vary from one candy, which um, I think is pretty rare, to 10 candies. I think I got 8 or 9 on my last door, and this is probably 5? I'm just estimating, I'm not really counting them. I'm now just speed running all the houses, uh, this is sped up by uh, 3.5 times. So. Yeah, you can say that this took around five minutes to finish all of them. And this starting 8, round of candy I started with was... As you can see, I've gotten almost 100 more, and this is probably my second or third minute. So I do recommend this. Honestly, it just depends on luck and how fast you can go. If it was my lucky day, I would have gotten maybe like... Eight, seven on all these. 
and I wouldn't have gotten killed. I don't think I got killed. All of these could be in private servers. I don't... The first two don't have to be, but I recommend the third one to be in a private server. Public servers, they don't even let you have your own ghosts. And you're trying to get, they'll just take away from you. I've gotten almost 200 candies. Let's get on to the third and final method. The third and final method I definitely recommend is going into the mansion and defeating the ghost. You can easily get loads of um, candies if you go into a private server because the other players won't just take your ghosts. We're going into Blackwood Manor and I'm just going to grab my gun and go through. In private servers as well, you start with one or two big ghosts, which is really convenient. I also recommend you have one or two other players with you in a private server, no more than four. Only because I think there's around five or six ghosts, and two of them, you definitely need another player, or you'll lose all the, I don't know, you'll lose all the glow you've captured from the ghosts and it will be literally impossible so i've got my sister here i think two players is honestly fine as you can see for that one ghost i got by myself i got 28 candies so if i were to get like Five of those, I would have gotten way over 100 candies. Maybe even four, I would have gotten over 100. So doing these in public servers are, is really, really amazing. So my sister's there, she's helping me shoot, and when we're done shooting, we can catch her. Another tip is if you're doing like this by yourself and, well, this doesn't really count if you're doing it by yourself. You're going to do it all by yourself. But if you're doing it with more players, try and shoot as much as you possibly can. Because that helps you get way more candies. Trust me, I know. I've been playing with a sister who plays on iPad. I know. If you haven't experienced the ghost just flying away, like, because of a timer, it literally flies away and it ruins all your progress. So that's why I'm saying you should get two players. And for this huge ghost, I got 74 candies. That's almost 100. I'm almost at 9k. This is amazing. And there's another huge ghost over there. So this is really, really good. You can just watch me play a little bit. Or you can skip to the outro. And my giveaway.
Thank you all so, so much for watching. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and share with your friends. You play Royal High. Because I make, I post giveaways monthly. This is my first Royal High video I posted with using my voice. If it's okay, please let me know because I might start doing this and hopefully I'll be able to post videos quite frequently. The giveaway that I've been talking about will include one of a new set, two Batmo heels, and one of the ghostly face head thingies that you get from the candy shop. All you need to do is like, subscribe, comment, enter with your username if you can, and add me on Roblox. My username is Big Crushy, it will pop up here and you just need to follow and add me and make sure please please respond because the last giveaway winner hasn't responded and I don't really know what to do they haven't added me or anything so also comment more on my videos for hide and swim comment entered with your username please don't spam maybe comment once on a few videos just make sure not to spam because that just shows you're really desperate and I might not add you because of your desperation. Make sure to stay up to date and remember if you did enjoy the video, subscribe and make sure to follow the rules. I will be checking. I hope you guys stay safe and have a lovely day. Goodbye.